In the metal squadron, taking a look at the December copper futures, which are finishing its third straight session higher, potentially breaking out of the sideways congestion it entered into on October 14th after closing with a solid breakout game yesterday and continuing higher today. Over the last three sessions, copper is up over 2.8%, and today we reached the highest price level for copper since October 11th. That high today, four spot 49.30, was up 1.39%. The low today, four spot 4205, was down about a quarter of 1%. And as we come to the close, we're still up over a half of 1% with a little bit of time left in the session. PMI data came out this morning and services PMI on the US and the UK broke into expansion territory. Actually, the small to medium sized business PMIs were the one in the US that broke back into expansion. UK was already in there, and that figure came in a little bit lower than expected, but stayed in expansion. And then the ISM services PMI in the US broke into expansion territory and beat expectations. Now, there are some correlations between services and manufacturing PMI data. They have an obvious economic cycle correlation, but they also have an interdependency correlation. The services sector also often depends on manufacturing, logistics, transportation, distribution services. So a quickening in services PMI could point to a potential pickup in manufacturing PMI readings, and this would be good for industrial metals, including copper. We also have the dollar sinking. The dollar dropped hard for the last two sessions in the aggregate, down by over 0.8%. That's a good size move. And given the typical inverse correlation between the dollar and industrial metals, this would be and has been a tailwind for copper as well.